Oh, you double down script. Number 30 and 40. And go through the scripts. Auto script. The version. So step A is simple auto, st auto stacking in a line for you. So if you've got darks and flats, then go to actually scripts, back to processing in, and back to pre, -brush, pre back to pre processing. It does darks, flats, BIOS images, and then you like frames. It stacks them quite well, so you would use that. If you've got only just RGB filters or narrowband filters, then this will do stacking for you more quite easily. Okay, all you're gonna do is add images. Select the image you want to add in. Press open. I put some in the fold into the list. If you've got more files in a different folder in a different colour, perhaps go to another folder, blah blah blah, click on folders and add some more. Press open. And add those continuous. And press OK to continue. And then it'll create images on the desktop for you that will be stacked and ready to you do actually merge together into one colour image. Okay, so that's how it's we 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 won't run that, just say it's complete. So it's done the process. Okay, so it's and it's loaded as an image on the screen. Then you go to script B and say merge images together. It will filter, filter out all the images and find the best, best, best filters for the actual what it's got so far. So it's got quite a few there, but it's only going for the integrated images that are already stacked. Or if you did RGB, it will cover different filters as well. If you've got DSLR images, put it into the light frame and DSLR there. If you've got a HA filter, go to the actual DSLR image, put it into there, and pick. pick RGB and DSLR colour palette. As we do narrowband, I'll put the second palette down and drive unlinked RGB, narrowband, and proper palette. If you've got two filters for seamless loop and you want just, just the two filters, HA and O, and I'll press the image for you there quite nicely. If you've already got an image colour palette in mind that's not one of these and just no colour palette change and Explore what you like. Uh, I'll put in another band before I forget. Local histogram enhances all the detail and all the, all the filters manually. I'm sorry, automatically. But to say, if it's a noisy image, it's best to turn them off and do it manually. Uh, fixed over exposures is to do with M42 and M31 or any very bright objects like galaxies. That could be a bright core. It calms the core down and it gets more detail in the image. Uh, right, noise reduction here again. There's a wave, if you tick it, wave, wave reduction applies. If you leave it unticked, then ACNR noise reduction follows on using the two filters at the bottom. I'm going to crop some images off, it's about 200 pixels. That are very pretty, no good images. I know on this one I've got some funny edges around about here on some of the filters, so I bet to the pixels I've already checked. It'll crop all the different corners and corners by 200 pixels on each corner. Now, this is the actual background extraction in the globe and the vignetting. It cures a lot of that problem. HA filter on mine is quite good, so they're not going to do any, any background extraction. This will repeat the actual extraction so many times and loop it three or four times. So that's it on three, I'll loop it three times, do back extraction three times on the two filters. If your image is pretty clear and you have no problems then don't don't extract them. Just leave it to zero both sides. Uh, right, light, light noise reduction and colour noise reduction. There's two different values. One set to do with light, light emergencies make a light frame and it does a small, less noise reduction than that to get a clear image. I'll put it down to one to get the image as clear as possible. Uh, colour reduction, what it does, it creates four different frames a light frame for, one, for the first one, for the light reduction here, and then three colour images for the RGB or narrowband filters. 
and it applies more noise we look into those to get a smoother colour. I'll put it to I'll put it to nine today and have a play with that. I'm gonna run the process and pause the video because it takes a little while to process all these options. Okay, I'll let it let it start anyway. So I'll pause the video. Well, the video should be recording. Well, the video is recording. Well, the process is finished. It's come up with the box so it's complete at the bottom there. I'll get rid of the image we don't need. Don't need that one anymore because that's a noisy one. Get rid of those. Delete select the images because I don't need them all apart from the main one is number 17. I'll look into that, it's not too bad at all. Bit of noise there on the actual star, but I can't fix everything. Let's move that a bit of noise reduction. Alright, the first thing I'll do is enhance the colours to get some detail of what's going on color enhancement on the object itself. So it'll mask the dark areas of the background and just concentrate on the color. The message box is how to prefer to use this function. Okay, let's have a look what's going on. I'm going to reset all the curves. Let's do it manually for the moment or so. I'm going to enhance the color a bit. Apply that twice. We get some colour out of this, a bit more colour I think. That will do for now. And then enhance the light a bit. I'll uh, once a bit of light and apply that. Apply it again. More steps are probably better. Not too bad. I'll uh, change the green so we get some nice colour of colours merge, merge effects. Just push it both ways and see what you, which, 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 is, which is best for image. Like a bit of red, I don't mind that, it's quite nice. Bring the red down a bit for the pink stars. Increase the red a bit in the middle. Not too bad. I'll apply that. What I'm going to do now is close that, close the preview, and sort of look at the background. The moment you're protecting the basket, this is protecting the red, the red area is protected, and you're playing with the colours in the actual more. More darker, the uh, colourful areas are being used. I'll delete that mask. Right, what I'm going to do now is to work on the dark areas, colour, colour enhance the background. So it's now protect the light areas and concentrate on the actual darker areas. Again, click circle to open the preview. And it's to just a saturation curve. So a circle and saturation curve. I think that's gone too pink in the background, so I'll bring the saturation down on that. It's not too bad, I quite like that. I'll reset the light. And I'll play with the curves so you can see so it do the best. Like a learning curve, you've got to learn what, what does what. Not too bad. It's 
I'm exploring to see what you get the best out of. I'll apply that. It's quite even, quite so smooth. What you have to do is turn all the, the actual mask all together. Like that. And have another go of the curves as well. There are no masks. Click on preview. Saturate all of it. There's no protection at all as the whole thing's gone. Gone a bit pink. Try and reduce the red a bit on that one. It's not quite working very well. Try using the pink mask. Alright, let's get rid of the pink star, see if it works. A bit pink, not too bad, but a bit pink. I'll try the red removal first. That's done a better job, so I don't mind that, it's not too bad. Click the items, yes, kill the badge. So it's a lot of messing about and learning how what does what. I'm now going to do enhanced detail. Uh, where are you? Local enhanced detail. You will not first, you should bring out some more detail, quite faint detail and contrast. Control Z to undo it and control Y to see it's done. That's quite a bit of detail there. I'll sharpen it up a bit and then do another. Enhance the wave to enhance so sharpen the image. Let's just start a bit brighter. Enhance the detail on the, on the actual image. The last thing I'll do then before I do the colour entry again. I'll do the dark darkness enhancement as well. Again, default settings. I should press OK. It's not my tool, it's just the one I use quite a lot because I've added it to my list of operations. So again, I control Z. So it's got a bit darker in the darker areas, a bit more clear. What I'll do now for the last little, last little job, I'm going to do a colour object enhance again. So it masks, masks the actual dark areas and colours around the light area. I'll reset it again. Press preview. Increase the saturation a bit more, gives more detail. Apply that twice so it comes out. That's too much for me to do anyway, so there, that's quite nice. I'm exploring just so we get detail wise. Try the light to make any difference.
Yeah, I'm going for that. Say you've got all your palettes, say you've got all your fancy. Well, you can also do a little, clever little trick. Is you invert the mask. So now it goes back to the dark area very quickly. What I'll do is bring the light down. Like that. Did before and after on the preview as well. That's before. And that's with the mask. I quite like that. I'm going to apply that. Reset all that. Out. Close it, you preview down, remove the mask, delete. Not too bad at all. Mine just run, sharpen up once more and see what it looks like. That's too sharp. Make the stars too bright. I'll stick with that for now. It's quite happy with that. So there you go. A few options all using auto script. No individual like, commands are all there for you. So I've also got so actually uh, 3D 3D creator for Facebook and a 3D animation creator as well for animations. Uh, I've got an RGB color correction for if your palette's not quite correct for RGB. You can make two little preview areas of dark area, or the, or the, the image and a color part of the area, and color, do color correction as well. Uh, so I've got in there. I think that's it. I think I've got all the different menus. So if you enjoy it, let me know. It's from Autos Autoscript Fix Inside, just Google that and you should find the website. Then have fun and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.